Mariner Bay, California. What the hell is that thing? It's one of those giant creatures the aliens sent. Where the hell is our air support? Ground Team 1 to command. Alien attack underway in Mariner Bay. We need backup! Clear the area of civilians. Backup has arrived. The soldiers look up open mouthed as towering above them is a humanoid Zord, the Red Shogun Zord. Please remain calm. Help has arrived. Please make your way safely behind the erected safe points and stay away from the Ranger machines. Thank you. The military hastens to evacuate citizens behind the city's newly erected border posts. Onlookers stare in amazement as the other four Shogun Zords arrive on the scene. All five Zords tower the nearest buildings. Each has a humanoid design with an animal shape for a head. Red is ape, white is falcon, black is frog, yellow is bear, blue is wolf. Everyone call in. White Shogun online. Yellow Shogun online. Blue Shogun online. Red Shogun Zord ready. Okay, let's finish this fast and neat. Stand by to bring them together. Shogun Megazord sequence engaged. Five Shogun Zords come together as one to form a massive samurai-looking Megazord. Its white horned helmet almost resembles a crown. From a holster on its side, the Megazord unsheaths a mighty katana blade. The blade ignites a fiery red. Let's finish this thing! It is almost too easy. The massive black beast can do nothing as it is slashed by the sword and destroyed. Behind the battle lines, the crowd cheers. This crisis has been adverted. Please report any lost items, injuries, or damaged property to your nearest military checkpoint and remain behind the lines until the cleanup crew is finished. Have a pleasant day. Wow, these guys are amazing. Who needs those old rogue rangers? And America's new Shadow Rangers have once again saved the day. Throughout the past two weeks, we've seen the Rangers swiftly stop an alien attack in Turtle Cove, Blue Bay Harbor, Silver Hills, and Panorama City. And just this morning, the Rangers once again defeated a new monster in Mariner Bay with their quote-unquote Shogun Megazord. It's inspiring to see America finally having control over this alien problem. The US government is showing the world that we won't bow down to these alien overlords. I feel sick. At the command center, the active rangers gather. Those people are idiots if they believe the Shadow Rangers are the good guys. Reed is clearly the one pulling the strings on this. She's making monsters and she's using this team to take credit for destroying her own creations. And she's calling their mechs Zords. She always did like to taunt her enemies. That's why she called my first mech the Dragon Zord. But seriously, where did they get them? They were no doubt here on Earth, hidden as our own were. Bandora had the resources and the means to find them once she had the coins. We should have locked her up when we had the chance. We couldn't, you know that. So what do we do? We can't just sit back and keep doing nothing. There is nothing we can do. If we fight them, then we look like the bad guys. We could expose them! Find a way to out Bandora as the alien commander! There has to be a digital paper trail to whatever identity she made up. Can we use this computer to find it? Hack into the military database? Maybe even the government itself? Alpha? We can try! Then do it. Whatever we can dig up, we have to use it. Put it out online like we did last year and prove it. Not everyone will believe us. We don't need everyone to believe. We just need to plant a seed of doubt. Enough for Bandora's new allies to start questioning where she comes from. It is a slim chance, Tommy. But I'm afraid we don't have many options now. Get to work, Alpha. I don't have a choice. She'll know I knew. She'll hurt them. <sighs> yes. My Empress, I bugged the command center like you wanted. The Rangers are coming up with a plan right now. They want to expose you, prove who you and the others are, where the coins came from. They can try. I wouldn't be so confident. Alpha and Billy are very good at this sort of thing. Not to mention Zordon and his computer brain. If there is any evidence that Ms. Goodson, Mr. Gold and Dr. Finster didn't exist until a few weeks ago, they will find it. 
indeed. Well done for bringing this to me. I suppose this means I need to move up my plans. Proceed straight to the end game. What is the end game? <laughs> Let's just say you won't be the only one whose loved ones will be at risk. <sighs> no more games. No more hiding. No more Power Rangers. I don't want to know. Oh my god. What have I done? Is that what I think it is? Yes, Mr. President. That file contains every single thing you need to know about the Vigilante Power Rangers, including their true identities. How did you discover this? Simple surveillance, Mr. President. My team analyzed every known footage of the Vigilantes. They clearly yell each other's names in the open. After that, it's just a matter of tracking them down via social media. I'm surprised no one else has found their identities out already. This is impossible, Mr. President. Every footage we ever got was inaudible. The Rangers were too far away to make out anything. Miss Goodson, this is Agent Mitchell. He's in charge of the FBI's anti-alien and ranger division. When you told me you had information to finally capture the vigilantes, I knew you would need his help. I'm impressed by your work, Miss Goodson, especially today in Mariner Bay. But how are you always able to achieve results when my team has been struggling since arrival day? My company utilizes the latest technology so we get the best results. We also know how inefficient government organizations tend to be. This file says Tommy Oliver is back from the dead? How on earth is that possible? With everything going on in the world, little things like magical resurrections shouldn't surprise you. But just in case you still have doubts, I also took the liberty of hacking the young people's phones. We have text messages, phone conversations, emails. All of it proves everything I am telling you. Mr. President, while I admire Miss Goodson's, uh, enthusiasm, we can't use any evidence that was obtained through illegal means. And wiretapping is illegal. Except in the cases of national defense. I believe this qualifies. With authorization. The FBI's authorization. Or the president's. Which I don't remember either of them giving you. <laughs> then arrest me. But you must have seen the polls, Mr. President. Your approval rating is at 90% now. I am giving you the Vigilante Rangers, your only opposition left, to you on a silver platter. Do you really want to ignore this opportunity? All right. Assemble a task force. Mr. President, with all due respect... None of this evidence is admissible in court, so we don't have the legal authority to arrest them. They're also just kids, about the same age as my daughter. If word gets out, the media will crucify us for illegally arresting and detaining minors. Which is why they won't find out. Keep this quiet and need to know. Use unmarked SWAT and unmarked vans. Absolutely nothing that can be traced back to us. And you, Miss Goodson, will not do anything like this again without consulting me first. Is that understood? Perfectly. Handle it personally, Bill. You arrest, you detain, you question, quick and quiet. If they are who she says they are, they won't come quietly. If that happens, do whatever you have to. Just bring me those kids. Their families may also be home, sir. Good point. Okay, Bill, arrest anyone who is a witness to the operation. We need to know what they know, too. I'm risking my men keeping this in-house. How far can I go here, Mr. President? All the way. As far as I'm concerned, they became traitors to this country the moment they refused to work with us. Bendor says nothing, just grins to herself. At the Hart Residence... Tommy Oliver lies awake in bed. Next to him is Kimberly, who is in deep sleep. Mrs. Hart's renewed nightlife, allowing him to come here often. Tommy gets out of bed and walks downstairs to the kitchen. He 
He looks inside the fridge, but nothing appears appetizing. He slams the fridge door in frustration. <clears throat> Saba, I need to talk to you. How may I help you, Mr. Oliver? Something's wrong with me. Since I came back, I don't sleep. I've pretended to sleep, especially when I'm with Kim. And now, I don't eat. I don't even use the bathroom. What's happened to me? Resurrections don't come freely, Tommy. In order to bring you back to life, the white light had to bond with your body. In order to keep you alive, the white light had to begin taking control. Control? Your body for now. And then, eventually, your mind. The white light always improves on its host, taking away anything that weakens the organism. Humans have many such weaknesses. Your aging cells, your need for nourishment, your emotions like fear and love. Once the white light rids you of all that holds you back, you will become immortal. What? I don't want to be immortal, Saba. I want to be human. And tonight, I didn't feel anything when I was with Kim. Sure, my body worked, but I didn't feel it. I faked that too. What does living forever mean if I can't be with the person I love? If I can't be with Kimberly? This is the price of the white light power. To go back now would leave you as you originally were. Dead. So, it is possible to reverse it? Yes, but in doing so, what would you achieve? Your friends' hardships and your allies' sacrifices would all be for nothing. All because you can't eat steak or enjoy sex. A warrior does not crave these things. Perhaps I was wrong to grant you these powers. Perhaps you are not worthy of this gift after all. Tommy? Saba disappears. Tommy looks up as Kimberly walks down the stairs. Who are you talking to? Uh, Saba. Kim, there's something I have to tell you. Later, Tommy. It's 2 a.m. Come back to bed. That's just it, Kim. I... Ah! Boo! 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 The two barely dressed teens look up with a start as the front door is blasted open. A legion of people dressed from head to toe in black SWAT gear file inside with guns raised at them. Freeze! Don't move! Or we will open fire! What? Who are you? What is going on? It's them! The first green and pink ones! Tommy Oliver, Kimberly Hart. You're under arrest for treason, conspiracy, and vigilanteism. What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. The other SWAT members move in. They throw Kimberly and Tommy down and handcuff their hands behind their backs. <laughs> Tommy! <sighs> Saba, do something! We don't have our communicators. Can you contact Zordon? Nothing. Saba, I take it back! Saba! What the hell are you yelling about? On your feet, kid! Tommy and Kimberly are forced to stand and are walked out of the door into separate black vans. Shortly after, another team member comes out with their morphers. Sir, this them? Yes, bag him and get them secure for transit. All teams reporting. The house is clear. The mother must be out. Wait till she returns and take her in too. Then begin the cover-up operation for the father. No, please, you don't know what you're doing! We have been saving people, please! No! Tommy! Tommy! Kimberly is silenced as the van's back doors are slammed shut on her. Across town, the same is happening at the Oliver household. <sighs> Mrs. Oliver and David are dragged from their beds. <sighs> Once in the living room, David sees his opening, slips free, and dives for the man with his morpher. Don't touch that, you motherfucker! Freeze! David! I said free! David! Get that boy under control, now! A SWAT member moves in and strikes David on the back of his head with a gun. When he still moves, the SWAT man strikes him again. No! And again. Stop. Please, stop it! Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Stop hitting my son! You're killing him! She runs for David to try and stop them. Freeze! Stop! Ma'am, I said freeze! Other SWAT team members grab her. She fights them off in a rage. They push her down onto the coffee table. 
finally subdued, she whimpers as blood trickles down her forehead. Across from her on the floor, David opens his eyes, bloodied himself. Rage fills him when he sees the SWAT team attacking his unconscious mother. Mom, no! Get over, you sons of bitches! He tries to rise, but is struck again in the back of the head by the baton. Everything goes dark. Stone Canyon. Uh, hello? Adam, you have to get out of there now. Uh, Chad, uh, what are you talking about? It's 2 a.m. Listen to me. I know you're one of the Power Rangers. There's a SWAT team coming to your house to take you and your parents away. You have to get out now. Go someplace safe. Get out now? Adam jumps with a start and leaps from the bed when he hears the crash. He hangs up the phone and puts it in his pocket. Adam wastes no time as he runs over to his desk to grab his morpher and communicator. Zordon! Alpha! Something's happening! My home! People are here! Adam listens, hearing his dad yelling at the invaders. We know. It is happening to everyone, Adam. We are teleporting you here now. No! Wait! A millisecond later, his bedroom door is kicked open. SWAT has just missed him. Across town, Rocky and Aisha are also awoken by the yells, but they don't even have time to call in. The moment they grab their devices, they are teleported. Rocky and Aisha run off the platform the moment they arrive into the command center's main chamber. There they find a shell-shocked Billy and an enraged Adam. I said send me back, I have to save them! There is nothing you could have done for them, Adam. Were you to attack your military, you would only make things worse for them. And everyone else taken tonight. Everyone else? We heard yelling, the banging, the SWAT team. We grabbed our morphers and then... Your morphers and communicators are the signal we log on to for teleportation. As soon as they came online from contact with you, we teleported you to safety. But without knowing their locations, we cannot teleport anyone else unless we have their devices. And this is it? So far. I... I stayed here pulling an all-nighter on the investigation. But if what has happened to all of you happened at my place... Mom! Dad! My little sister! Oh, God! What the hell is going on? It would appear that Bandora gave the government your identities. And they are acting on it. Arresting all the rangers and their families. But how do they know who we are? Rita has never met me, Adam, or Aisha. That, I do not know. No contact from anyone else. I have connected to their transmission frequency. Tommy, Kimberly, David, and Trini have been taken into custody with everyone else who was in their places of residence. Each of your families as well. No, no, we have to morph and get back there. We have to free them. You have to let us go. You have to let us go. I cannot. To do so would leave this planet defenseless. To hell with the planet. That shit is out the window now, man. But you are safe here. I don't want to be safe. I want my mom, my dad. We have to save them. I know it is hard, but you all must calm down. Aisha doesn't reply, just throws herself into Rocky's arms as they both weep. <sighs> what about Kat and Zack or Jason? No contact yet. Keep trying, Alpha. Teleport anyone here the moment their power coins or communicators activate. It is almost 6 a.m. in Edison, New Jersey. Jason and Zack have their routine taking a run from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. every morning. <sighs> Almost home. Man, this really is the best time for a run. Hardly anyone around. That fresh, chill air to get you going. <laughs> See? <laughs> I told you. They round the corner to Zach's apartment building and stop. Whoa! Are those SWAT trucks? I don't they, know. They have to be here for us. The two stop in their path, Zack then watching in stunned silence as two people are brought out of the building in handcuffs. Mom? Dad? No! Zack, no. They have guns. Do you have your morpher? Zack grits his teeth and reaches into his pocket. Never leave home without it. You? No. 
Uh, I'm on break, remember? It's back inside. Well then, Jace, you better hang back. Because they are not taking my folks anywhere. Master Don! The Black Ranger stands, forming in shimmering light, and then charges for the SWAT team. Get the hell away from them! That's him! The Black Ranger! Open fire! They fire, but Zack's armor deflects them all. Nice try, but... What? No! Oh, hell! A few moments later, Jason is surrounded, forced to his knees, and arrested. I left Jason back there. My folks! We only got your signal when you morphed. Neither of you were wearing your communicators. Well, sorry, Alpha. We didn't expect the damn SWAT team at the end of our morning run. Still, you took your morpher. You were better prepared. Shut the hell up! There are five of us here now. A full enough team. Send us out there and we will get our friends and families free in no time. No. As I was explaining... I said teleport us back! As I was explaining to the other Zack, if we do that, we play right into Rita's hands. You make yourselves fugitives attacking members of the law. You risk making you all far more guilty and risk the safety of everyone who has been taken. So we do what? Sit on our asses while Rita takes our friends? Our families? The power coins? We will come up with a plan. When you are all calm. When we have time to think it through. Zack lowers his head and demorphs. He then walks over to Billy, who is sitting, sobbing into his knees on the platform, leaning against the ringed console. Zack sits next to him and puts an arm around him, pulling him in tight. We'll fix this, Billy. I promise you. And they got Kimberly, and Tommy, and... and Trini. And now Jason. Oh, God. How? Why did this happen? The last step. Taking us out as a threat. They don't need us now. They had their you controlled rangers. Maybe we should have just turned ourselves in, Zack. Worked with them. If we had, they would all still be... Hey, it's not your fault. It's no one's fault but Rita's. She's doing this, okay? You hear me? Yeah. Across the platform... Adam has finally stopped shaking and speaks. I got a warning right before it happened. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have grabbed my communicator and morpher. A warning? From who? Chad. Who the hell is Chad? My... he's some guy I know. Works in the army. He knows I'm a Power Ranger. Wait. You told someone from the army that you were a ranger? And you never told us? First, I didn't tell him. He figured it out on his own. And even if I did, when was my personal life any of your business? The hell it wasn't! Your friend probably bugged your phone. That must be how he knew you were a ranger. And it's how SWAT got all of our addresses. He's right, Adam. It's the only explanation. Screw you. This is not my fault. Guys, let's not fight among ourselves. That's exactly what Rita wants. Adam, you know this Chad guy better than we do. Was he someone that could be trusted? I don't know. I didn't really know him for that long. I also, um, I kind of thought he might be one of the Shadow Rangers. Oh great. Tell me again how this isn't your fault. I wasn't sure. He talked about some top secret military project the last time we hung out. That was also the same week the Shadow Rangers showed up. I didn't know if it was just a coincidence. I wanted to meet with him again before I told you guys. <laughs> God damn it. This is it, isn't it? It's over. All of it. Now we have to deal with the consequences. You saved everyone on Doomsday. That has to count for something. Does it? Trini Kwan is thrown into a blank stone room. Trini? Jason? Jason! Oh no, they have you too! Jason stands and rushes over to her. Yeah, just. I guess they are pairing us up. Too many of us for a cell each. Or just so they can listen in on us. That's how these people work. Oh, Jason, Jason, they took my mom. I haven't seen her since. 
They wouldn't let me. I don't know if she's okay or... Hey, shh. Jason grabs her, embraces her. She'll be fine. Probably in another cell nearby. What will they do with us? I don't know. Try and take our powers? Use our families to make us talk? Tell them everything? And then what? I don't know. Did you see anyone else? Zack? Billy? Zack was teleported in front of me when he morphed. Alpha and Zordon must have been monitoring for activated coins and communicators. I didn't have mine. I take it you didn't either. I never had a chance. They grabbed me in my sleep. By the time I knew what was happening, I was in handcuffs. Which is why they did this at night. They attacked us all at the same time so we couldn't warn each other. No one had much of a chance to do anything. Only reason they almost missed me and Zack is because we get up early for our run every morning. Zack made it to the command center though. And I'm sure he's not the only one. At least, I hope not. But what can they do? They can't break us out. That would just make all this worse. Do exactly what Rita wants us to do. Be the outlaw she's claiming us to be. You think she found out about the hacking plan? Makes sense. Why else do this now? After leaving us be for weeks. So someone bugged our phones. Listened in when the guys told us. I'm sure she has her tricks. Remember, she came into the command center undetected on Doomsday. What if she planted some kind of bug while she was there? Maybe she tapped into our communication frequency, or what if... Or what? What if someone on our team told her? And in a facility on the West Coast, Tommy and David also share a cell. Is she okay? I don't know. I didn't see her after they loaded her into the trucks. You look pretty bad yourself. You sure you're okay? They stitched me up. I didn't have a serious concussion or anything. Yay for small miracles. What the hell happened? I don't know. I'm really scared right now. You think anyone got away? I don't know. Tommy? David stands and forces his broken body over to Tommy as he kneels over in pain. What's wrong? I told Saba I didn't want my powers anymore. He's taking it back. It's my life force, Dave. Without it, I... What? Why would you do that? Tell him you changed your mind. He's not talking to me right now. Why? (sighs) Dave, there's something I need to tell you about what's happened to me since I came back. And in the cell a few rooms down. Miss Oliver, that you? Kimberly! Yes! I, uh, please, call me Marie. Why are you here? I overheard them. They have taken everyone, Kimberly. Everyone that knows, and even the ones that don't. Any witnesses. Which means they're keeping it quiet. For now. To all units, proceed to your post assignment. All units, proceed to your post assignment. The control room. Stone Canyon Base. Rita Bandora grins as she looks down at a table. On it are all of the captured power coins. At last. Not all of them. Five got away. Not for long. Time for phase two. The Ranger's command center. I have given our friends the frequency to lower its defenses. How did you find the location of their base? Once we hacked their phones, triangulating their frequently visited GPS coordinates was a piece of cake. And the codes? I was given access to the Serpentera data last week. Same tech. Catch up, agent. Once we've taken down their base, it's game over. We've been close before. This is no time to celebrate. Not this close. In the barren desert beyond the command center, the red, blue, yellow, and black Shadow Rangers exit their black troop transport. You sure the Ranger's base is here? I don't see anything. These are the coordinates Miss Goodson gave us. I'm also tracking Adam's cell phone signal here. When I told him to go someplace safe, I suspected this is where he'd go. Their base is using some kind of cloaking generator, though. Once we deactivate it, we can invade. Where's Shadow White? Don't know. Miss Goodson said she would be on this mission. Chad takes out a device and runs a program to deactivate the cloaking generator. Sorry we have to do this, Adam. I hope you come peacefully. Inside the center. The Shadow Rangers are outside! What? They have a Zetech computer of some sort. They are... Oh no. 
outside in the desert, the command center shimmers into view, now visible for all to see. Cloaking screens are down. The shields are down. They have found a way to penetrate our defenses. Oh my god. And back at the base. Told you it would work. You certainly know a lot for some advisor. I only wish the president allowed us to bring in the army. My rangers would do so much better with backup. Your rangers seem to be doing fine. Besides, the president wanted this to be covert. The fewer people that know about this, the better. You know that. In that case, why don't you go back and deal with the cover-up for your raids? We have this handled, Agent. It's handled. I'm staying right here. Very well. Watch and learn. Can you get them back up? I can't bypass the override codes! Zordon! It is too late for that, Alpha. Prepare the engines for takeoff. Wait, what? What engines? This was not always a base. It was also the vessel we arrived in. Once in space, away from your military, we can regroup. But after so many centuries, Zordon, the engines may not restart! They must, Alpha. They must! Outside. We had the order. Open fire! The Shadow Rangers summon and fire heavy blasters at the command center's exterior. Metal and stone cave as the command center's hit. Ah! Oh. Aye, 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 aye. We are taking heavy damage! Engines are online. Hold on, Rangers. Prepare for takeoff. What the hell? It's a ship? They're taking off! Oh no, they don't! Continue firing! If they make it to space, we'll never catch up! Our Zords can go into space. How the hell do you know that? We listen to the commander. Okay! Shogun Zord time! Inside, the remaining Rangers watch as the Shogun Zords arrive. The Zords will follow us into space. We need to buy you some time to escape. Zack. We can do it. And you can beam us back here to our hangars as soon as you are clear. Right? Outer hull breach. Force fields online. But they won't hold for long. Zordon, we have to do this. We can do this. Go. And may the power protect you. Okay. It's morphin' time. Mastodon. Triceratops. Dragon Thunder Power. Lion Thunder Power. Griffin Thunder Power. Mastodon. Lion Thunder Sword Power. Triceratops Pegasus. Thunder Sword Power. Saber Tooth Tiger Griffin Thunder Sword Power. Tyrannosaurus Red Dragon Thunder Sword Power. Okay, everyone engage one of them. I only count four, that means they can't form their Megazord either. Yeah, and draw their fire away from the command center. Each of the Thunder Zords engages a Shogun Zord. Rocky forms the Red Dragon into its warrior mode and brings out its staff and slams into the blue Shogun Zord. Back at the military base. No! The Zords are just a distraction. Concentrate fire on the command center. Forget about their base! Taking the Rangers into custody is our top priority. You idiot! Their command center has technology we can harvest. Shoot it down now. If we focus on the base, the Rangers will escape. This is my op. You follow my orders. Tell your rangers to capture the vigilantes, or I will have you arrested for insubordination. Ugh, that's it. Bandora, no. Agent Mitchell watches in terrified awe as Miss Goodson is overtaken in purple light. The light travels up her body and forms into a black and gold garb. It reaches past her head and forms into horns. Miss Goodson becomes Rita Bandora once again, her wand appearing in her hand. Oh my god! 
Frightened, Agent Mitchell pulls out his gun and fires at Bandora. Other armed people in the room doing the same a split second later. Human fools. Bandora's magic deflects the bullets with ease. What, what, what the hell are you? Some, some kind of d demon? <sighs> Not quite. Bandora raises her wand high as it glows. Now you are all mine. She slams her wand down, a purple shockwave blasting out from it to engulf the room, the eyes of everyone in it, glowing the same purple. They all drop their weapons and relax. That's better. Now, what is the most powerful missile we have access to. The agent raises his arm and points to a control board, straight at a red button. Thank you, agent. Bandora, our mission is over. No more need for me to hide, nor for you, Goldar. Rita points her staff. It glows and then blasts Goldar with magic. The human he was is gone, transformed in purple and red light back into Goldar, complete with his old organic wings. What? How? When did you learn to- I have had months in exile, Goldar. I have not wasted it. I have studied and practiced. My power has grown tenfold. Nothing is beyond me. Now, where were we? If you could do this, why haven't you done it before? I did do it before. How do you think I got myself into a top-level government position so fast? But this kind of control lasts only a few hours. Fortunately, that's all I need right now. Rita walks over to the console and presses the red button. With a push, the missile fires. It blasts out from the base and up over California towards the Nevada desert. Meanwhile, taking heavy damage. We can't hold out much longer. Uh, we just need to hold them back long enough. Guys, I'm picking up an incoming missile. It's coming in at supersonic speed. Everyone, prepare evasives. No, Rocky. It's not targeting us. Oh, God. Every ranger on both sides look up from their zords as the missile heads straight for the command center. It hits. <laughs> Oh!